Oh, Pike. Pike came up and ate the large mouth. Nice small mouth on that square bill. Right there. Absolutely huge. Look at the size of that monster. 5.15. Absolute fatty bass. What's up, everybody? It is officially fall up here in northern Michigan. It was 47 degrees this morning, and I had to break out the winter hat, the hooded sweatshirt, and the sweatpants. But I caught my PB bass. I'm finally in the five pounder club. I caught it right as the sun was coming up. It was still a little dark out, so I don't know what the footage looks like, but I hope it turned out good. Today, I'm gonna go over the four main lures that I'm gonna be throwing throughout this fall period, fall transition period. And then I'm gonna show you how they work today. The Whopper Plopper 110 in bone color got my new PB. This is made by River to Sea, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows what that is. I'll be throwing it in the bone or loon color until the top water bite goes away completely. Next up, another River to Sea, and this one can catch big fish too, is the S Waver 168. This is the rainbow trout color, and it's like a glide type swim bait. Didn't get anything on this today. I did get one bite, but it was probably a dink because it, I didn't hook it. <clears throat> Next up, another one that's going to do a lot of damage is the Ned Rig. I'm sure everybody knows what this is by now. It's just your mushroom head, one tenth ounce weight, or whatever weight you want, with the little TRD finesse Ned Rig on there. This is the all black yoga pants color. I'm going for the uh, for it to look like a leech or something. But you could throw that in any color. That should work until the ice comes. And then next up. My last main lure I'm going to be throwing is the uh, square bill crankbait. This is the Strike King KVD uh, 2.5. This one's in the black chartreuse color. This thing was absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal today. It caught the most fish and it, uh, it went for a grand slam. <clears throat> caught four different species on it. Uh, so those are my, more, my four main baits um, that I'm going to use. I highly recommend you using them as well because uh, I know they're gonna work they're already working I hope you like this video click the like button if you did subscribe to the channel if you haven't already keep those lines tight good luck fishing and we'll see you next time feels decent it's dry Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, that's a real big one. Deep on that track. That's a big one. That's a hog. That might be new PB. That might be a new PB. It might be a new PB. All right, 5.15. Hopefully you can see that. We get a 5.15. Just got a new PB. Just got a new PB out here. Absolutely huge. Look at the size of that monster. New PB. 5.15. Absolute fatty bass. Huge Michigan. That's five pounders are big up here in the north. That's it. Hope I got some good views of that puppy. Let's get him back. Alright, he took off. Good. Man, my mouth on that thing was huge. Nice. He went away healthy. Good. Whoo! PB, baby. New PB. That's what's up. Fall fishing out here in northern Michigan. Caught him on the Whopper Plopper 110. 47 degrees out here. Whew. Ah, if I get him. Yeah, I got him. They'll, they'll hit that Ned Rick. Oh, that's the bigger smallmouth, too.
Don't flip you. Yeah. Oh, a little flip on that one. Right. So that worked. Them smallmouth, even though they see you, they just can't resist this Ned rig. Pike, Pike came up and ate the largemouth. I don't think I got the pike hooked. Oh my god, that was so cool. That was so cool. I hope I got that on video. You just got lucky, dude. Smallmouth. Smallmouth on the crankbait. Yeah, you put up a good bite too. Yeah, that's a good smallmouth. Hey, he hit that right away. Nice smallmouth on that square bill. Having a pretty decent day so far. PB, a couple good smallmouth. That pike nail and that bass was pretty cool. Having a good day so far, good fall day so far. A little slow, but still good. Right the boat. Is that a rock bass? That's a rock bass. Damn, look at that fat rock bass. Thing's a little chunk. Decent large mouth. Barely got him up. Got him. Barely.
right there. Right up to the boat and struck that. Everybody. I'm going to take a few more casts here and go ahead and end the day here fishing. This definitely was the first day of fall fishing. It was 47 degrees when I came out this morning. Um, had to wear a thermal and a hooded, hooded sweatshirt and a beanie. So it ended up getting pretty nice out. But I definitely say it's fall. Um, the fish are starting to transition. They're starting to spread out. Um, oh got one right here uh, huh, just got one for the road uh, but the fish are starting to spread out I didn't find them schooled up though usually you can find them schooled up oh man that's a decent smallmouth hold that thought for one second I barely got him hooked it's a nice color all right nice little smallie decent fish all right, as I was saying, they weren't really uh, schooled up anywhere. They were really spread out. Um, but I caught some good smallmouth, some decent largemouth, caught my PB largemouth on the Whopper Plopper 110 to start out the day. Then I went on to catch fish on the Square Bill KVD crankbait, Strike King, the Ned Rig, Whopper Plopper 110. Only fish I didn't catch anything on was the S Waver 168. Those were the four lures I was throwing all day. I never changed any of them out. The square bill hit a grand slam, caught four species, caught pike, smallmouth, rock bass, a chunky rock bass, smallmouth. So, oh, another one right at the boat, another smallmouth. Man, I'm trying to get out of here and leave, but they just keep nailing them. All right, hold that thought. He's barely hooked. Oh, caught him in the net. All right, hold that thought a minute. All right, got another good smallie on that square bill. It's still putting in work. Glad I came over here for a few extra casts and decided to shoot the end of this. All right, as I was saying, um, hit for the grand slam on the uh, square bill crankbait. Got rock bass, smallmouth as you can see, largemouth, uh, and a couple pike. Biggest one though came on that Whopper Plopper 110. It's always good to get a new PB. I hope the footage came out good. I hope you like the video. Click the like button if you do. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, go ahead and click that. I hope to get more videos out here before the ice comes here in the next few months. Good luck out there fishing. Keep those lines tight and we'll see you next time.